today is the kickoff of the 2021 stewardship campaign. When we ask everyone to think about what you will give in financial resources, talent, and time to St. Mark's. 2020 has been very different as we now worship by Zoom. We do not know what 2021 will be like. This is a time of uncertainty, not only for the church, but for us in our personal lives. We have lost lives, we have lost jobs. And talking about financial resources and what you will give in the coming year is not easy. Listening to it is not easy, but please bear with me for a few minutes. The stewardship campaign theme for 2021 is St. Mark's Beyond the Building. What does this mean to us? What should it mean to us? As people of faith, where is God calling us? There are many reasons to give to the church and I give primarily for three reasons. First, I was taught as a little girl in North Carolina by my grandmother who always sent my sister and I to church with an offering, one for us to put in the plate and one for her because she frequently had to work herself on Sundays. The second reason I give is I am very thankful to the St. Mark's community. It is a very special place for me it is family, it is community. I have been a member of St. Mark's now for 37 years. This is a very special place and St. Mark's has been there for me on numerous occasions. Most recently during my COVID-19 experience. As many of you know, I was hospitalized for eight days with COVID-19 and pneumonia, followed by a very long recovery. Then the past two weeks, I've had to deal with shingles. The St. Mark's have been there for me with prayers, offers to help in any way possible, calls, cards, and just a general sense of concern for my well-being. And I have felt very blessed. You gave me strength at a very low point. St. Mark's to me is a place where I can build my faith, recharge my battery, and connect with a very caring community. I also have the opportunity to plug in to a variety of activities, to share my time and my spiritual gifts. Because we are stronger together, with each doing a part, no matter the amount. It's what we do that matters. The third reason I give to St. Mark's is it feels so good. It is just so right. Maybe it's a feeling of connectedness, or maybe it's a feeling that our giving in the larger community makes a difference in real lives. I feel blessed and I want to share my blessings wherever I can. And I have found a certain joy in including God in my budget plan. And I tell you this to encourage each of you as you think about your pledge to seriously consider tithing or a proportional gift with the eventual goal to a tithe. Yes, that's 10%. And I know some of you are probably saying now, Jackie has lost her mind. She must still have a temperature. But there's a scripture in Genesis, a verse in Genesis 28 that says, tithe of everything from the land, whether grain from the soil or fruit from the trees belong to the Lord. It is holy to the Lord. Now, although we are not in our physical building, 
we must continue to support its upkeep as well as respond to needs beyond the building in the community. We must be God's hands in the community, especially at this time. Now I think of my financial resources, my time, my spiritual gifts in a very simple way. God has entrusted them to my care to invest on his behalf. The idea is that he will get a good return on his investment, but I must trust him. He has trusted me with much and I try to use it wisely. St. Mark's is a great investment. Just look around at the richness of our community. Thank you, St. Mark's. <laughs>